Welcome to Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. If it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. There are a ton of videos on this channel I know you'll enjoy. Today I'm going to be introducing you to the Backpackers Thermocell. Let's go! This is the Backpackers Thermocell. I've been a big fan of Thermocell products for years and I found the Backpackers version on sale and I decided I would give it a go. Very impressed with this product so far. Comes in a nice little ditty bag, which is great because you can keep the Thermocell in here, which is this small little four ounce device that screws right onto your fuel canister. And whoop. You can also keep these pads right inside of this bag too, so that way everything that you have is self-contained. So we're going to get this bad boy fired up, and I'm going to show you guys all about it. I'm going to show you guys how to set up the Backpackers Thermocell. The first step is to take one of the scent pads, you open that up, and you're going to slide this right along that plate at the top. And this contains the chemical that's going to keep the bugs at bay. Next, we have a rubber cap on the bottom. I'm going to pop that off. And this screws directly onto the canister. And these threads are nice and tight, so it's really easy to get on there. And you're going to want to screw it on all the way. Next, in the front, there's an on-off switch. You're going to flick that to the on position. Wait about three seconds. And then you're going to flick this ignition switch up. Then you're going to check and see if there's an orange light. Once you see that glowing light on the inside, that means that the thermocell is on and it's starting to heat up. Once you have the thermocell turned on, you're going to want to wait about 10 or 15 minutes to get that maximum effectiveness of the unit. Once it starts to heat up, you're going to start to see a fine little smoke or mist come out of the top of the pad and you'll actually be able to smell kind of a pleasant odor. This thermocell here is able to protect a 15 foot area. The thermocell has a great amount of burn time off one of these little fuel canisters. This four ounce fuel canister is going to give me 90 hours of bug protection. Now, obviously I'm gonna to need to use more than just this one pad. I may wanna have six or seven different pads with me. It is important to note if you're considering using the Backpackers thermocell that you select the fuel canisters that are an isobutane blend. So it needs to be a self-sealing canister and it has to be the isobutane blend. This will not work on a standard propane canister canister. So these little 4, 8, and 16 ounce canisters that are common with a lot of backpacking stoves are the ones that you want to be looking for. One of these 4 ounce fuel canisters will burn for 90 hours and a single scent pad will burn for 4 hours consecutively. Now if you prefer to use the bigger canisters, those 16 ounce canisters are going to give you 360 hours of burn time on this thermocell. Another important point of note is the Backpackers Thermocell will work very reliably up to an elevation of about 7,000 feet. After that point, the fuel inside these canisters becomes a little bit more unstable and doesn't burn as well, which can lead to problems with the thermocell. However, at an elevation above 7,000 feet, you shouldn't really be running into too many bugs. So you probably won't be needing it if you're in that cloud environment. So if you're liking the Backpackers Thermocell, you can pick up one of these for around $29. And the pads, you can get a 48 pack of pads for $17. So it puts each four hour pad at around $1.50, which I think is great. I just think it's great not to have to use DEET or any other spray on chemicals. I'm a really big fan of the Thermocell family of products. One of the considerations that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind is that this plate does heat up when you're using it. So before you return it back to its stuff sack and put it in your pack, you're just gonna to wanna to turn it off and let it cool down for a few minutes first, just so that it's cool to the touch because this plate can get pretty hot, just as a word of caution. I really like how small and compact the unit is. I like that it has its own little stuff sack so that I can put extra scent pads in there and I really like that it works really, really well. 
Thermacell has been around for years. I've used multiple of their products, including the original Thermacell and the Thermacell Radius, which I have a video on that if you're interested in checking that one out. I am a strong believer in their products because they work and I am a fan of not having to put DEET onto my skin. Now, if I had to rate the Backpackers Thermacell on a five point scale, I would give this product four out of five crows. And there's a couple big reasons for that. Number one is it uses a fuel source that most backpackers have with them anyways. I already have my canister of fuel that I'm gonna be using to heat up my meals. So once I'm done getting that wa water boiled and that meal rehydrated, I may as well use it for bug protection and I'm going to be stationary at that point I'm in camp. At the same point, that kind of leads to one of the drawbacks, is that this system does require you to be stationary to use it. So it's not something that you can just clip to your pack and then march on through the woods with and have bug protection because it relies on that canister. So it really is more for a stationary type of setup. The other drawback, as with all Thermacell products, is that they're very much wind dependent. So if you're using this in some of those environments with higher elevation or wind that wind's going to come along and it's going to sweep away the scent that's being put off by that pad so you might have to make a little windscreen or something for it at camp but overall in terms of bug effectiveness very effective product and a convenient product for backpackers thanks for joining me i hope that you enjoyed the video and i hope that you learned something new if you haven't already done so now is the time hit that subscribe button and while you're here, you may as well check out a few of my other videos. Until next time, folks, we'll see you on the trail.